What's up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel, Poke Daily, where we open Pokemon cards and stuff like every Saturday, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Check your local listings, whatever that means. Um, if you didn't know, last week I was kind of sick. Maybe you could tell, maybe not. I don't know. Um, but anyway, what we're going to do today is I got a box of the Pokemon Go Tins. Uh, I got this from zulu games i think uh you could google it they have a website um i've bought from them a couple times uh pretty reliable um it's a good website you get pretty good discounts on a lot of pokemon products uh, i don't work for them i don't get any money from them but just wanted to throw that out there if you're wondering where i got this uh, whole box of tens um so let's just crack into it as i'm trying my best to open this um if you are not subscribed but you like this content you like the videos be sure you hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell i think i have probably over i don't know maybe 130 videos on the channel at this point so be sure to subscribe give the video a like if you like the video leave a comment and i will um keep making videos uh, so here's just kind of a little show off i got pikachu and a meltan snorlax and a meltan Magikarp and a Miltan, and a, a Chansey, I think, or Blissey, and a Miltan. Um, so let's pop this open. Um, I think what happens is that this does this, and it tucks in, and it creates this nice little display. It's pretty nice. I think this is probably the first time I've opened uh, actual an actual box of tins. So there are ten. Uh, let's see if we hopefully get at least one of each artwork and we'll try to line them up if we can. So we got a, an Eevee and a Pikachu. There's another Pikachu, a Magikarp, Magikarp, Blissey, Blissey, Eevee, and cool. So it looks like we do got two of each. So I think what I'm going to do is let's just open one of each artwork something that's pretty cool is that these actually uh, there's like some weird glue on here whatever these actually line up and they create some sort of picture so if i can maybe see how this goes if it's not too complicated i think that goes maybe like that and and what else do we got here snorlax somewhere no, this one goes here. Perfect. And we got some flowers. Goes like such. And then we got this guy. Boom. Is that is that a, oh, let's uh make it a little bit more presentable here. There we go. And that's it. You have this beautiful little artwork display. Looks pretty cool. Magikarp to the Eevee to Blissey, Pikachu, and Snorlax. It's kind of like they're all part of the same adventure. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, anyway, I am presuming that these all probably have two packs of Pokemon Go. And it sounds like there's a coin inside. And sure enough... There is a coin, and I just threw it into the abyss. That is probably one of my favorite coins, actually. Um, pretty nice. It's just a Pikachu looking to the side. Looks like we have some codes. Use that for your Pokemon Go coding pleasure. And then we got two packs there. And let's just go ahead and open all of these. Let's see if we can, let's see, can we open them? All right, then here's the Eevee, another Pikachu, of course. Um, so there's the artwork there. Here are some codes if you want the codes feel free to screenshot pause the video if you need to so we're gonna create this little 
artwork here real quick. I think that's what is probably the coolest thing about these mini tins is they always seem to create some art, which is pretty neat, I would say. This guy looks like he goes there. Very nice. Next codes. Um, here we go. There you go. And let's just power through the last two. Set aside that. We will connect. Beautiful. Two more packs there. Which brings you two more codes. And finally, the Snorlax, Snorlax pack. All right, so all of them had the same coin and here is the final artwork. I don't know why they made it sort of do this up and down pattern. Maybe it saves space. Maybe it saves space somehow, I don't know. And there you go, final codes. I assume it gets you some items in the Pokemon Go uh, game. So we got 10 packs, we're gonna open all 10 of them. Of course, what are we looking for? We are looking for some sort of Mewtwo V-Star, regular, gold, or rainbow. I need all of them. We're just going to power through. Thank you for watching. Thanks for being a part of the crew, of the team. It means a lot to me. You watch these videos on a weekly basis. Uh, sometimes some random videos throughout the week. I think, um, what's coming out soon? So there, there's two things I know that are, look at that, Moltres and an Articuno. So nothing in that one. There are two big things coming out soon. The first one is the Halloween Boo Stir Packs. Uh, I believe those are going to be sold at retail stores um, like Target, Walmart, uh, Kohl's, and that sort of thing. I have not seen an official set list. Oh my God, slacking. The guy we have like 17 of these. No, I'm just kidding. I think I probably have like six of these though. So we're, we're not gonna count that one. I'm not looking for a slacking. Um, anyway, so the booster packs, you buy them at a retail store and they come in a bag like, you know, a giant bag of like Snickers or Reese's or, or whatever. And the idea is that each bag, I want to say it's $14.99, and it comes with, I think, 40, oh my god, we are not getting anything. It comes with 43 card booster packs. So, you know, it's kind of like giving somebody a pack of Twizzlers or a Reese's Cup or whatever, but instead you're handing out these little booster packs like I said, each booster pack has three cards, and I think a bag retails for $14.99. Dragonite have a million of him. Uh, each bag is $14.99, and you get 40 of those booster packs. So, you know, not too bad. You could give out 40 packs to kids on Halloween. I think that's pretty neat. Good on you, Pokemon. I think that's awesome. Uh, if you're wondering what the cards are, um, unfortunately, all of them are reprints from Venusaur. All of them are reprints from Rebel Clash, Vivid Voltage, um, Evolving Skies. So none of them are actually new cards per se. The only thing that is new is that they all have, instead of saying Pokemon Go, they all have a pumpkin little icon here. But other than that, they are the exact same cards that you have already seen and collected before. I want to say there's probably 
like 50 different cards you can collect in total. Um, but anyway, none of them are full arts or V cards or anything. They're all pretty much just standard commons and uncommons. Maybe there's a couple of rares in there, uh, but like I said, they're all just reprints and they just have a pumpkin Pikachu logo instead of whatever logo there. Venusaur and a Dragonite V-Star. Already have like four of him too. Not getting the best luck. Still have not gotten the Dragonite, no, I'm sorry, the Mewtwo V-Star. Hopefully we can get something in these 10 packs, but you know, that's kind of the name of the game. You win some, you lose some. We're just here showing off what are in all these tins. Quick little video of old cards. Um, oh yeah, and, and the second thing that's coming out besides that, uh, McDonald's, I want to say maybe September 1st, we'll start having Pokemon Happy Mills again. I want to say those are probably all reprints as well, um, but I am not too familiar with those yet. And another slacking. See what I'm saying? I have like nine of these. So what did we get besides the hollows? It looks like we got two slackings, Dragonite and a Dragonite V-Star. Not really adding anything new to the binder today, but if you like the video, be sure to hit that like button. It really helps me out. Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to leave a comment, and I will get back to you if you have any other questions or ideas. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next Saturday, 9 a.m. Pacific. Have a great week. Goodbye.